Hey, so we're going to talk about two different positions now. So a lot of times when we're chasing this dump or climbing the arm, we can, we can also get a reaction where this guy will start kind of circling and try to chase him, but his arm's trapped. So we got knee taps, we got dumps. So we're working in this position. And again, I can't just do this to climb the arm. I'm gonna get put in a lot of bad spots. So I gotta have elbows tight and I'm just climbing it a little, but as I'm climbing it, I'm circling. I'm not just staying in front. So once I get that tight part up on the armpit, that's when I can knee slide down and start to get to my dump. Um, Kazler asked a good question. He said, I feel like I don't need to knee slide as deep when I knee tap. And that, that's, that's pretty accurate because my knee tap is kind of an extension of my slide and my dump. So this is what he's talking about. He's talking about not having the knee slide as close to get to his knee tap. And that, that's accurate. So I'm climbing this arm, I'm circling a little bit, and then I get ready to knee tap. It's more, it's more I'm circling, and then I just drop this knee and tap. I drop my knee, I'm not sliding it as much. I'm just kind of tapping, boom, and just kind of clearing out. Same thing, listening to the heartbeat, circling and, and, and collecting the body. Now, what I want to do is as I climb the arm and start to circle, I want to kind of start circling up to my feet. All right, because we might even try this dump, and we just can't get it. But while we're trying to climb this arm and dump him, he's not thinking about snapping down and putting a lot of weight on us. So it gives us an opportunity to come up, all right? Plus it gives us a handle to kind of climb. So I start, start attacking this elbow a little bit, climbing the arm, starting to circle up right here, okay? But I'm still tight on the arm. As I circle and I'm trying to pull here, a lot of times this foot will be right there as he over squares. I'm just gonna pull down. Notice I'm pulling him with me. Boom, right there. See, I'm still pulling the arm. Boom, right there, put him on his butt. Okay. Notice I didn't come up to my feet and then dive across back into a front headlock. Everything stayed home, everything was tight, and I'm circling and creating an angle because the angle threatens his position. I'm not just diving to a position, okay, and just crossing my fingers. He's chin and tricep. I get to the elbow, it's probably gonna be kinda high. So I'm gonna have to circle and pull. Choke up on it. Might have to use my hands a couple times. Circle, circle, circle. Right here. Boom. Just like a low single. Just like a low single. Tight here. Bad. Calm, 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 calm. Boom, across the body. But when I go across, I'm pulling everything down. It's the same thing as an ankle pick. If I was gonna ankle pick Sam, crunching everything down. Framing the foot. Putting him on his butt. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? One more again? Okay. So go slow at first. Start with one little pull. Work your way up. Working through that position. All right. I got, I got a little too extended that time. I shot a little too far. It should be almost like a drop down as opposed to a dive across. Okay, we don't want to dive across because if this guy sprawls, where do we end up? Right back and dog on front headlock again, right? Good? And then, we'll go over in a second. A lot of times what happens, I'll start circling, circling. I'll go to dump, go put him on a hip, and then I can come back up and sucker drag out, okay? So it's almost like hitting him with a couple different attacks from a front headlock. Traditionally, a front headlock, he's supposed to be in the driver's seat. He's supposed to be dictating what I'm doing. I'm moving down there, climbing arms, knee tapping, dumping, right? Ankle picking across. Arm dragging out, sucker dragging. Now he's like, man, why am I even here? This must be my position. Go. 